Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is dedicated to how I air dry my hair. I am going to go through the step-by-step -step process because this is so requested, it is crazy. You guys ask for this over and over and over again. So I'm sorry it's so long overdue, but let's get right into it. Before I show you guys the steps, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell too so that you don't miss anything here. So I've gone ahead and I've washed my hair. I'm gonna preface all of this by saying this is a bit of a long process for me. My hair has gotten longer, so obviously it takes a little longer now to air dry. So while it's air drying, I thought I would do, you know, some makeup hauls and I thought I'd finish off my makeup while I am air drying as well. So let's get right into this. So I've gone ahead and I've washed my hair and I've wrapped it up in a microfiber towel to just, you know, suck out that extra moisture. I'm going to take it down for you. There you go. All right, so I deep conditioned my hair using the Aussie Three Minute Miracle. I just coated my hair in conditioner, wrapped it in a plastic bag, and then did a long ride on the Peloton. So if you guys have followed along, I have posted about this Unite 7 Seconds Detangler. This has quickly become one of my favorite detanglers ever. It really does detangle immediately. It makes it so soft and manageable so that it's so easy to run your comb through it. So I apply it in sections. So I separate my hair into about six big chunky sections and I go ahead and I spray this from root to tip. So you know what guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest in the bathroom because this stuff is thick, heavy, and creamy and I don't wanna get it on my rug and my beautiful chair and everywhere. I will insert a little clip right here so that you guys can see the whole process. I've included it in past videos. All right, so that's done. The Unite 7 Seconds Detangler has been applied to every inch of my hair. I use my wide tooth comb just to get out any tangles. And it's just, it's really easy to manage. I, I don't even have to, like I don't have to do too much combing up from the ends because it's so manageable. I'm just going to back up a little bit. I am really, really pleased at the progress of my hair. I'm, I'm just, there's no more breakage. It's shiny. It's cooperating. <laughs> There we go, that is uh, how long the hair has gotten. Pretty amazing. I just wanna show you guys, that's all the hair that has come out, a marked difference from, a marked difference from years in the past. Dear God, thank you for helping out my hair, amen. <laughs> so that is pretty much it. So I just put the Unite Detangler in my hair and I leave it like so. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna fix my part. Hang on. So I almost always use, do a center part. Not great at doing this um, without the big bathroom mirror. So we're not gonna judge Dominique too hard here. Let's see if we can do that. I don't know, I'm thinking that's good enough. I can fix it later. Now, if you want super smooth, you can take a wet brush. I really like the wet brush because the bristles are so soft and they are tipped in those little knob things, so no tugging on the hair. I mean, you always are gentle with your hair. You baby your hair. You don't want to rip any brush through, but the wet brush is just such a nice, gentle option. So the wet brush is great for smoothing. If your hair tends to dry frizzy, maybe get yourself a wet brush. It just gets rid of all the tangles and make sure that there's no, you know, bubbles in your hair so it doesn't dry funny. Or it dries straight as possible. So that's all I put in my hair again. The detangler and I'm smoothing it down with the wet brush and I'm just going to leave it like 
that and I don't screw with it. So in the past when I was really, really focused on getting my hair healthy, I would put on a silk robe so that no hair is getting caught on sweaters or anything like that. But I feel like right now I, I don't really need to do that. My hair is feeling pretty healthy. It's not getting caught on anything. I'm using this soft jersey t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt thing. And that is that. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. It will be dry in about an hour and a half, okay? And uh, throughout the air drying process, I'll just smooth it down a little bit, but I will let you guys know that Gloria, my hairstylist, she uses a lye-based relaxer in my hair. Therefore, it straightens pretty straight when she straightens my hair. She will use a mild formula on my hair. And I'm telling you guys all of this because my hair is relaxed so straight, it tends to dry a bit straighter. Those of you who have text lax hair, your hair is going to have more texture if you're air drying your hair. Now, air drying works for me. I found it was really, really beneficial when it caught, came to stopping breakage from over manipulation from blow drying or whatever. It doesn't work for everybody. Again, listen to your hair. What I've heard from many of you is that air drying doesn't work for you. It makes your ends really, really dry. It dries really big and frizzy, and you just would prefer to roller set or blow dry your hair or whatever. Um, do whatever works for you, okay? This, this works for me, and I haven't noticed any breakage, but please um, don't put your hair through anything stressful if it's not working. That completes the whole hair prep for air drying portion of this video. Let's finish my makeup. So guys, this is what I smell like today. It's Givenchy's Irresistible Perfume. They have sent me a few bottles of it. I'm really, really lucky. It smells just really, really ladylike. Oh yeah. It smells like candy, candy and like musk and some vanilla, this is gorgeous. Those of you who want like a really nice going out perfume, or this is like a great signature scent, try that out. Okay, so I recently partnered with Glossier. They sent me so much makeup, I am so blessed. I used to use Glossier a lot back in the day. And one of my favorite products by them is Boy Brow and Bomb.com. If you guys are looking for a really solid lip balm, Bomb.com is awesome. It does a really great job at hydrating your lips without peeling your lips or making them drier than when you started. I hate that. They have these cloud paints. These are gel-based cream blushes and the colors are fabulous. They look like candies and I am so hooked on the color Storm. There you go. It's just like a really great plummy look. So again, it's gel-based. I will show you guys. I just got it all over the camera. So just be careful. It's buildable. They're never chalky. I just, oh, I love that. I love that color. Ugh, they're so good. There's a color called Spark. I'll show you guys that in a second. It's like just this juicy red. I, I tried it out on my TikTok. I did a first impressions video. I just love that. That is so nice. And it's just a really nice flush of color. Um, when I'm working out at the gym, I like to go Flojo style. I know a lot of you, I'm old, <laughs> won't know who Flojo is, but she was an Olympian. She was a runner in the 80s who was fantastic and she used to do full makeup and like these amazing claws with insane nail art. So the point of all of that is when I go to the gym, I always, almost always wear makeup. <laughs> I like to look good at the gym. There you go. So that's the cloud paint. And you know, I'm just gonna put a little bit more right on the apples so you just tap in and up and out towards your temple and that gives a really nice flush of color you know just really simulates like a natural blush like you know the blush you get when a really hot guy talks to you that's how it should look <laughs> so the other product that I wanted to show you guys is Hourglass, oh my God, Hourglass revamped a lot of their products and they are just killing it. So Hourglass's new Caution Mascara, I feel compliments my new long lashes so well. Oh my gosh, and the packaging, I mean, really. So the color I am using is Ultra Black. So I'm gonna start by curling my lashes. 
I'm sorry, my eyelash curler is kind of dirty. I'm using Shu Yumura's eyelash curler because they are the best. So they are shaped. The This eyelash curler is made a little flatter. So a lot of like this, this one's more like this because they're designed for Asian eyes. But I feel like, sorry. I feel like that flatter contour of the eyelash curler just hurts less. <laughs> It, you can just really get in there really well. So this is one of the best mascaras I've used in a really long time. It does get a little clumpy because it's like it is dramatic, 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 dramatic. So I just clean off the wand as best as I can. And there, I'm sorry. Like what a difference already. So mascaras are generally one of the products that I don't spend a lot of money on. One of my favorites is just simple Maybelline Lash Sensational in that uh, kind of pink metallic oval tube. That is so good. And it's just a drugstore cheapie. But this stuff, this is a little bit, well, quite a bit more expensive. Yeah, th I feel this is worth it. I put on a little eyeshadow, not too much. There we go. I just wanted sort of a natural but really pretty look today. There we go. Look at that. Like, I'm just blown away. Every time. Take the Lord's name in vain, sorry. There, and then I just wing it out. Look at that difference. There we go. So, of all the mascaras I have used, this is the one that, you know, people stop me. And they're like, oh my gosh, your lashes, what are your, like, where do you go for lash extensions, blah, blah, blah. That one always, there we go. And just wing it out. Yeah, people stop me. It's just great. I just, ugh, I love that. And it's easy to wash off at the end of the day, which is always great. I always go to bed, it's a little too late. So at the end of the day, when it's time to wash my face, I'm like, <laughs> I go to bed with my makeup on, don't judge. Don't judge, yes, I'm a skincare influencer. <laughs> okay, so let's do lips. Um, Cicely Paris, a very luxury French brand, uh, sends me all this fabulous makeup. They sent a bunch of lipsticks. I wanna do something neutral, quelle surprise. At first glance. Sweet Rosewood looks like a winner. There we go. Let's try it out. You know what, I'm gonna get a mirror. Before I do my lipstick, I wanna show you this little blush I got. It's an elephant. I love that, that's Shantakai. The color is Smitten. I'm not wearing it today, obviously, but I think I'm gonna do more makeup tutorials and they're just gonna be focused on simple makeup because I cannot do, like you know the fabulous Jackie Ina does all these like colorful, amazing looks. I couldn't even dream about doing that, so yeah. All right, let's try this Sweet Rosewood lipstick. Oh, this is so perfect. Love it. Smells very much like vanilla, which is my jam. All right, so that is it for the makeup portion of this video. I got some cute little earrings uh, from Lim Lim. I'm a sucker for hearts. I'm gonna put those on as part of my feel pretty day. So, oh crap. You know what, I'm gonna do the second hole. So you guys, I'm on Peloton. I got a Peloton a few, gosh, about a month ago, and I'm adoring it. It's a nice way to do cardio without sort of feeling beaten up by running. 
Oh, that's cute. Cute. I am loving Toon Day and Adrian Williams and Alex Toussaint, I think is his name. I love Jess, that redhead. She's so funny. Okay guys, 20 minutes has passed since I did my makeup and it, my hair is starting to get drier. So I want you guys to notice that it dries from the ends up and you know, my roots take the longest to dry. If it takes too long, like usually I wash my hair and then, you know, just do chores around the house. But if I'm in a rush and I need to go outside and it's really cold, especially, like I've got my mom's voice in my head going, you're gonna catch your death of cold if you have wet hair. I will use my Dyson Supersonic to dry it. Love the Dyson because it's gentle. It's got a more focused airflow too. So it's not, you know, whipping your hair around into one giant knot. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some work on the computer and uh, you know, just let it do its thing. But just wanted to give you guys a little progress update. This is 20 minutes of air drying so far. And um, yeah, so it's, it's feeling pretty, it's getting pretty dry at the ends. This is damp and this feels wet. So yeah. Wanted to show you guys something as well. This is a cashmere toque by Sunday Maine. She has sent me several colors. Sunday Maine uh, is a black female owned Canadian company specializing in cashmere hats with satin, silk satin linings. It is amazing. They're super cute. She sent me a beige one, a beautiful lavender one, this one, another color. They are downstairs in my, my front closet because I use them pretty often. So these are really, really great. If you live in a cold climate, a lot of the hats that they sell are, are wool, they're a knit, and I find can dry out hair or snag hair and break it. So, you know, satin, silk aligned, hats have been my savior. They're really, really cute. I do find them, I'm gonna let you guys know, they're a little tight because where the satin lining is sewn into the knit, it's not stretchy, right? The lining is not stretchy. So if you have a giant head like me, <laughs> it takes a little crowbarring onto your head. So just wanna show you guys how it looks here. It's super cute. So I just wear it like so, a walk the dog. It's really, really adorable. The lavender is stunning. I should have gotten them all, I'm sorry. So just a quick side note, the Sunday Maine cashmere hats come in this really beautiful little satin envelope. There, it's pretty big. Anyways, these are lovely, and I love supporting you know, a fellow black woman. So if you're looking for a great hat that protects your hair, this fits the bill. Okay. I'm going to go have some lunch and then I think I'm gonna try on a few things for you guys while my hair dries and yeah, I will see you in a bit. Hi all, so my hair is almost dry but it's damp at the roots now. So it's been about an hour, almost an hour of me hair drying. I'm starting to get cold and I wanna get on with my day. There's a snowstorm outside but I, I, um, I'm just waiting it out because I need to go to the post office. Ugh. Canada and its weather. So I'm gonna use my Dyson Supersonic just on the roots a bit. I will let you guys know I haven't done anything to my hair. I've just been sitting around um, trying on clothes and that's it. I don't brush it, I don't comb it, I don't over manipulate it, I just let it be. So this is how my hair dries naturally. This is about three weeks, four weeks post relaxer about three weeks, I don't think it's a full month, and it's got a slight wave to it, but nothing, you know, major. All right, so I'm just gonna use this on my roots and call it a day, and that is basically how I air dry my hair. I do not wrap it at the roots with a silk scarf. I used to do that back in the day, actually at the starting of the pandemic when I didn't have access to a salon, and I had a lot of new growth, and I just wanted to make sure that it laid flat. Yeah, this is it, that is all. Again, I recognize this doesn't work for everybody, so it took me a little trial and error to get this, but yeah, I don't use any blow drying solutions, any straightening bombs. I really try to use a minimal amount of product in my hair when I'm air drying, because I also don't want it to be weighed down or tacky or greasy for when I eventually flat iron. 
Okay guys, so this is my air dried hair. She's just a beautiful lion's mane of hair. When I go to the Caribbean, this is actually pretty much how I wear my hair. My cousins and I will go to the beach, swim all day, I will get home, rinse it out. I won't wash it, I'll usually just co-wash it unless it's like, you know, really gross. And this is how it looks. I love this, I call it my like Bajan girl look. I'm trying to like channel my best Barbadian look here. Anyways, I use my Dyson as I showed you guys, the Supersonic, to just get rid of the dampness in my hair. And I, I again, didn't comb it, didn't use any brushes or anything like that because I'm trying to keep the manipulation low. Again, I like the D Dyson Supersonic because it's pretty targeted, gentle airflow, and it never gets overly hot. Like you'll never burn your scalp or anything like that. And I will use a little bit of my Indigo Luster Gloss. This is a silicone-based serum. Silicones shouldn't be something that you're really afraid of. It is a chemical that's gotten a really bad rap over the years in hair care products, but it really does do a good job at keeping your hair shiny, manageable, and easy to style. So this doesn't contain any oil in it, so it's great for flat ironing hair, it's not gonna fry your hair. So I just wanted to mention, sorry, the uh, sun is casting some weird shadows here. I am gonna flat iron my hair. I'm gonna use the Dyson Corral. These are all gifted by Dyson. I'm a very, very lucky girl. I really do love this flat iron. It's got floating plates, which are a bit more gentle on hair. It kind of conforms to the hair, never pulling or snagging it. And I'm sorry, the fact that this is cordless, I can do my hair wherever without the shackles of an electrical cord makes this worth every last red cent. She is not cheap, the Dyson Corral, but it's so effective. It's so gentle on hair as well. And again, that, that the fact that it's cordless just ugh, makes such a world of difference for me. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. If you have any questions for me on air drying, please, please, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment box. Don't be discouraged if air drying is not for you. I am here to hammer into your heads that you need to listen to your hair, do what's best for your hair. If air drying is leaving your hair feeling a little dry and crusty or whatever, or you just don't like the look, or if you find, some of you tell me that air drying your hair makes it that much harder to get a sleek finish with your flat iron, go ahead, roller set, blow dry, do whatever, um, you know, makes you happy confidence wise. If, uh, you know, roller sets or blow drying makes your hair look a certain way that really makes you feel pretty and beautiful, stick with that. I switched to air drying because I just felt it was a little healthier for me and um, just, you know, conducive to my own hair's health. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my socials. I'm on Instagram, I'll listen all here, TikTok, my blog, you name it. I am so sorry, I'm like trying to avoid um, the line from the window, that's so annoying. Anyways, I can't thank you enough for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.